Well, we're gonna go through and check the smart plugs. How many did I say I need? Because I got, what, four there? I think I need five. Six. Six, so I need to pull two more out of the room. Or, you know, just like buy two more. I'm gonna turn on some lights real quick. It's a little bit dark in here, and my phone is being really, really slow. Like, it's not wanting to load at all. Why is nothing in focus? Because something bumped my autofocus. Now things are in focus. I'm gonna let these lights warm up and then we'll be back. Okay, you should be able to see a lot better now. We're gonna bring in the extension cord and this is a real, true, good extension cord. This is a 14 gauge cord and it can actually handle the whole 15 amps. Unlike one of these cheap little 16 gauge pieces of shit. Because I, I really dislike those. They have their uses. They're not really good for what I need. This is much better. Let's start by checking this bright one. Uh, there's a cat that wants in my room. What the fuck? Um, that light didn't come on at first, but it came on now. I'm gonna grab the phone and make sure it shows up. There it is, and... I don't know if you can hear that, but they were clicking. You can see as I control it camera will focus that close. This smart plug works. This camera has really bad and slow focus. I hate it. But I can't use my phone because my phone is, uh... My phone is kind of required for this process. Well, my other phone's a little bit busy. I got a friend on the other line. And I don't want to film anything with this phone because this one's got to go back. Is this one even charged? I want, I want to make sure there's nothing on that one, but this one's probably going to get sent back in the next couple of days. I'm supposed to receive my new phone tomorrow, so... This isn't part of the video, but let's just make sure this has been completely wiped. I don't remember. This thing is so slow. Okay, this one's been completely wiped. Now let's check this globe smart plug. This one is actually... This, this one is Globe branded, unlike this bright one, which is, it runs on the same software, but it's branded bright. Now, I don't know what the affiliation with bright and Globe is, but it's basically a rebranded smart plug that uses Globe software. Um, what one would this be? This one would be fancy light, right? If you can see that or not, with the lights flashing every time I push the button. Uh, I don't have an easy to get to load at the moment. Give me one second.
Or, so you can see it works. We'll do the same test for the bright smart plug. That's the wrong side. That side works. This is on this side. That side works. Now for these ones, these ones should be set up already. These were brand new out of the box. In the, in the app, here, whoa, let's not drop my phone. In the app, you can see that they do show up. Just focus this here. They do show up there, but See, I don't remember if I set these up. I'm gonna just turn the brightness down so I'm not screwing with the with the video too much. Well, I don't know what the flashing blue light means, but it means what I think it means. It should be ready to go. Sure enough. It lights up and now you can no longer see the phone because the brightness went up because of the light. What I want to find out with these smart plugs, let's keep the brightness down a little bit here. How do you set a routine? Schedule. Turn on power. 10. Come on. AM. Every day. Turn off at 12 AM every day. Huh. So it's just like the globes. Good to know. Of course, button on the side. Honestly, I, I like these TP-Link ones a lot more than these globe ones. And a hell of a lot more than these bright ones. I probably mentioned this already. I bought, I bought three of these dual ones and about four single ones from the Bright series or the Bright brand or whatever it is that these were sold under and these these were like $30 a piece brand new for these dual ones and like $20 for those and I got these for like $5 and I got the single ones like like this for three dollars if I remember correctly on Black Friday and I had purchased these because I needed a couple more smart plugs for Christmas because I run all my Christmas lights off of smart plugs instead of timers a smart plug is just more versatile to me I can use them for more things but uh, out of all those bright ones that I bought this is my last one that I have that works. And these globe ones are starting to fail on me as well. As you saw, this one was behaving a little bit funny. This one was, um... It didn't want to work at first for a second there. I was clicking on the button and nothing was happening. And it thought it was on when it wasn't. Now, some of these globe plugs I've had for like two years now. And this might be one of the two-year-old ones. But I bought a brand new box of these last year for Christmas. Around Christmas time, I used them for Christmas, but I needed a couple new ones anyways. And they're failing too, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be switching over to these TP-Link Casa plugs.
they just, they, they seem to be like they're going to be more reliable. Check this one. And the only thing that was stopping me from switching to the Casa ones fully was I didn't know if these were, were going to uh, support routines or if I was going to have to get creative and turn, or turn them on and off myself or something, but... That one works too. And of course, like in, in the Globe app, I'll just show it really quick. In the Globe app here, Say I want to adjust the time on this one. Uh, smart scenes, I think. No. See, it's just, it's so much easier on these. Like, I don't write routines. Here we go. You see, every day at 10 a.m., these come on. Now, I personally just turn these off whenever I want, so I don't have an off time for them. But let's go to one that has an off time. Uh, it's they're not hard to work either it's just I don't like the UI I don't like I don't like how they keep failing and like some of these like my, one of this this globe one something was rattling inside of it too that's not good Oh, it's just the button. Just the button was rattling, but uh, some of these globe ones never got used for more than just Christmas lights one season and they didn't last. And these are good for a like, thousand watts resistive or something. These are good for 15 amps resistive, 625 watts tungsten. Now, the reason for being able to support 1,875 watts resistive but only 625 watts tungsten is because of the huge inrush current of a tungsten lamp, an incandescent lamp, where it could easily be like 1,000 watts when it starts up or more. Go fucking with my game over here. I got my game open and someone joined and messed up my lobby now. I'm annoyed. But, um... None of these had really high loads last year. I think my highest load in lighting would have been... Um... My highest lighting load last year probably was the family room. The family room or like the loft hallway as I call it, which is just the, the hallway outside of my room that leads up to the loft as well. I call it the loft hallway. It, it, it overlooks the foyer, but. Um. That might have been the highest load, and that was probably three, four hundred watts at most. And it was actually run by... I don't have it here at the moment, but... It was run off of one of these smart plugs that currently runs my fan. And it's completely fine. This one right here did the window lights. One set of lights, about 40 watts. And this one's already dying. What good quality those are. So we'll see how these TP-Link ones hold up. Before I purchase more of these TP-Link ones, I am trying them. That's, this is why I bought just a two-pack. Like, these were... It was $20 for two. Compared to these, which were like 
I think for three of them they were 30 bucks. That's ten dollars a piece. So I guess it would be about the same price now that I think about it. But I just I don't want to be spending thirty dollars on these every year. Every season pretty much. Every every Christmas season I would have to spend thirty bucks to get another box of these. Because I guarantee you I'll have two more of these fail by the end of the season. Whereas if these continue to work, these are gonna be what I buy. Because like, I, I found, I, I had, I knew I had two more spares of these globe ones. Just laying around somewhere. But I couldn't find them at the time that I had purchased these. I didn't think I was going to be able to find them. So I purchased these just, just in case. And I found my spares. Which is why there's one that's currently plugged into my fan. Just, just for convenience sake. But this ground prong is a little bit loose. But yeah, there's... There's two spares left in case something happens. But these are going to go into service over those two spares I have. Because I really want to see like what the Wi-Fi range is on these. How they hold up. Are they just going to work? And more importantly, when these globe ones lose their Wi-Fi connection, their routines just stop working. And it's not like it just stops working when there's no connection. No. It stops working altogether. I have to reset these, connect them to the network, and then reset up the entire um, routine all over again. These could be the same situation. And if they are, it's whatever. Like, there, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Maybe there's... I, I think if, that, if that's a problem with these, my only option might be to buy actual timers. But... Timers, to me, would just be a waste of money. I'm, I'm not going to use them for anything more than Christmas, so it would just be a waste to me. Here's to hoping that that's not the case. I think I, I rambled on about smart plugs long enough. Basically, these are going to go into service over some globe ones that I had, I had found. We're going to try these, see if I like them, and if I like these for Christmas 2025, it will be all TP-Link smart plugs. And I will probably have either given away, sold, or thrown away all of the globe ones. Depends on if they still work. Because I got some of these globe ones that have been really reliable, and then some of them just don't last. But, thanks for watching.